We're back at midday. The U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs is giving about $52 million to organizations to help with suicide prevention programs and services. Organizations include VA clinics across Georgia. Celine Arif spoke with a veteran who says more support for mental health is always needed in the veteran community. According to StopSoldierSuicide.org, veterans are at a 57% higher chance of committing suicide than those who haven't served our country. So suicide prevention is our top clinical priority. James Huckfeld works for the Dublin VA Medical Center. He says suicide prevention is a topic close to his heart. He lost a stepbrother and his mom to suicide. And then suicide hit his family again. 11 months after that, my younger brother couldn't cope with the passing of my mom, so he uh, he passed. As an Army veteran who served our country for about nine years, he believes more mental health resources are always needed in the veteran community. They gave me five months of training to learn how the Army works. When I got out of the Army, they gave me a week and a half to learn how to be a civilian again. Huckfeld finds the job market and finding a community and a higher purpose are all difficult things to navigate post-discharge. That's why he was happy to see the VA investing over $50 million into community organizations that offer suicide prevention programs and services. Increased funding would mean more personnel that we can, that we can have, um, more mental health professionals. He thinks the VA clinic in Dublin already does a lot of prevention work to help people keep busy and find support which he believes keeps suicides down. You're making friends, and when you make friends, you have contacts. When you have contacts, then you have things to do, and all of a sudden, you don't have time to think about suicide. In Dublin, Celine Air 13 WMAZ News. And of that grant money, about $750,000 will be going towards VA clinics across Georgia. We wrap up.